Need some new threads? Grab some official Full Boost merch. Fresh off the press is our new Holden RB30 range. Don't get salty, just wear one. You know, this must be one of the only VLs I've heard someone's pulled an auto out to put a manual in. Yeah. It's always around the other way, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I just, uh, I had a high flow on it and I felt like I didn't, oh, I didn't have the money to do a, more work to the engine, so I thought I'd put a manual in it and make it feel faster. Yeah. <laughs> Back at the 2022 Holden Drag Nationals, now it's just gone from like 30 degrees to raining. But one of the coolest cars that's here that we've seen a fair bit over the last couple of years is uh, Alistair's VL. You've got a manual transmission in it, yeah? Yeah, yeah, no, it's got a Liberty clutchless five speed. That's so. the equaliser model, yeah? Equaliser, yeah. Yep. yeah. I noticed you've been having a little bit of trouble today getting off the start line. Yeah, it's been a bit tricky. You don't have a fancy clutch in this though, do you? No, no, it's like, just got a twin plate, twin um, plate. and it's got, we've got a Magnus Motorsports uh, like hydraulic clutch slipper. Yep, yep. So it's basically, it just works off the, um, we just turn the headlight switch on, and it just, it just um, sort of restricts the amount of flow back to the master That's cylinder, so it sort of slips the clutch yep, for me, yep. but it's pretty fine tuning, so. Yeah, yeah. Um, it, it's a pretty new thing we put on, and, and I wouldn't say we're struggling with it, but it's just yep. a little bit of fine tuning. Yeah, exactly. Back to the engine, I like the fact that you've actually stuck with the uh, single cam, yeah? Yeah, I definitely. You're not cheating. No, so no, I'm not cheating, no. Not cheating. I definitely think VLs, if you've got a VL, it has to have a single cam. I agree, I completely um, agree. Yeah. It sounds. They have a unique sound, don't they? Yeah, over yeah. The twin yeah. cams. Less bark. Yeah. I mean, I think they, they sound just as good as a twin cam. Yeah, I agree. Um, but they're completely different. Yeah, so. yeah. So this one, tell us a bit about this. This is obviously JPC yeah, handled yeah. your engine side of the thing. Yeah, that's that's basically right. It's pretty much JPC everything. Um, a good friend of mine, Rowan Hartley, he he works at JPC and he's helped me with the car since I got it. And yeah, basically they assembled this whole motor and it, I wouldn't say that it's completely off its head. It's just got a standard crank, obviously still standard cast block. Um, it's got a set of Argo rods, some secondhand pistons I've, I've had for 10 years and. It's a, yeah, one of their solid cams, got the roller rockers, obviously, plenum. JPC um, also do like a, a girdle sort of? They do, they do bridges, um, bridges, but it's not running, not running not that. Running um, probably something that I should look into eventually, but um, it's at the moment, for what I'm trying to do, mm. I'm not really looking for any more power, just more uh, power management. Yeah, so. now a trade of JPC actually do turbochargers as well, is they don't have a massively oversized. Yeah, 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 so this is, um, this isn't like, like yeah, they do, do like custom GDX 45s. This is just an off the shelf one, but Mark has, um, he's put a 100 housing on it yeah. on a T4 flange. So it's pretty, I mean, it is manual, so it doesn't really matter about lag, but um, yeah, it's, I have no, no issues at all with the turbo. So yeah, what sort of power is this putting out? So on 45 PSI, it makes about 720 kilowatt. I haven't really been able to use all of that. And yeah, on, on with the boost controller disconnected, it's about 30 psi. It went 88, 155. Okay. Um, this weekend we've sort of been looking at 166 mile an yeah, hour, yeah, yeah. but yeah. just haven't been able to get the short track. Yeah, so. yeah. It looks a little bit of a handful in the top. It of the is. It, it is. Yeah. <laughs> Weighed this? Yeah, it weighs uh, 3,100 with me in okay. it. Okay. Yep. Um, I just had it at uh, JL Race Cars with John Lang, and he set the rear end up and he scaled it all for me, and, and he weighed it and he weighed yep. it at 3,100. So it's got a John, a JL Race Cars. Rear yeah. End. So yep. it's got a four link. He did all the four link. One of his nine inches Afcos, 
uh, one of his um, any roll bars. Yeah. He did the roll cage and everything. Pretty much anything chassis related, he's done. He's done, yeah, yeah. Down the track, I'd like to do um, you know coil over front end and and a K frame and stuff. But yeah, where do you like we were saying off camera before? Where do you uh, where do you stop? Like, yeah, exactly. Yeah, and like I don't have the biggest budget in the world. Yeah. to sort of just. I'm pretty lucky to have JPC helping me with a lot of things, and um, like two of my best mates, obviously Rowan and his twin brother Brody, they do pretty much all the work on the car. Um, if it wasn't for any of those guys, I, I wouldn't have what this is. Yeah. Because um, so you're blaming them for your drag racing. <laughs> I am. They're really into cars as well. They had you featured Rowan's R31 wagon, the blue right. wagon, yeah. years and years ago. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. So um, they've always been into drag racing and into RB30s. They're, they're, they love R31s. Oh yeah, JPC have done. Yeah, yeah. And then and then obviously Paul's um. Paul, no, yeah, Paul Skyline, um, pretty much any any RB30 that comes out of there is generally around 1,000 horsepower, so I think I'm in the best hands. Do you have a goal with this current guys, like, at all? No, or? I mean, I mean yeah, I've, I'd love to go sevens, um, but if I can go out, get a PB, you know, my PB's 8.8, eight. if I go 8.7, I'd be wrapped. Yeah, yeah. I'm not course, really looking yeah. for any records and not really into that sort of stuff. If it goes out, um, you know, goes quick, it all works and we all have a good day yeah. and that's that's awesome for me. Yeah. And so. your your car's been pretty reliable from what I've seen. It has been, yeah. I know the, you're earlier, you had a, um, an older style um, G-Force gear. Yeah, it had a G-Force in it. Um, for the weight that this car yeah. was, it, it wasn't really working for me. Yeah. Um, it, it, I got it out of a car, it was, in a, it was in a VL and that was really quick and it, it worked for him. But I kept breaking gears and I don't really have the money to continue to do that. So I thought long term the best investment was at Liberty's. This is rated to 3,000 horsepower in a 3,500 pound Jeez, car. Okay. So it's um. So hopefully you should have a bit less maintenance on it. Yeah, well, hopefully I don't have to do any maintenance yeah. other than changing the oil. We dropped yeah. the oil out of it just before this event and it was looking really good. I like the fact you're still on slicks. I mean, I see people yeah. trying to run radials with. Yeah. I know people, some people get it to work. You can do it. Um, especially if you've got the centrifugal slippers type clutches. Yeah. But again, it's, it's a lot of time and effort and for something that I just want to take out on a Sunday. And um, I, I like with this, like even if it turns a tire a bit, you can kind of drive through it on a Sunday. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, you might see from the, the video that you took before, um, there's a bit of pedaling and it yeah. eventually grips. What, what size are you on, a 28? Uh, 28 by 10.5. Obviously in a build like this, Alistair, there's a, probably a few people you might want to thank you. Yep, definitely, yeah. yeah. Um, I, I, obviously, I couldn't do this without two of my best mates, Rowan and Brody Hartley. Um, they've built this car from the start, and um, so, you know, forever appreciative to them. Yeah. Obviously, JPC, they're like always looking after me, massive supporter of me. Um, Mark, Paul, Adrian, you know, they always go above and beyond to help me. And then John Lang from JL Race Cars, he's been awesome as well, so um, it's really good. Hopefully, one day, fingers crossed, we might see a seven out of this. Hopefully, it'd be great. Yeah. But I mean, any time we go out and get a PV, I'd be wrapped, so. In all honesty, as long as you go out and have a fun day and you yeah, drive, exactly, you drive yeah. it back on the trailer, that's right, it's yeah. a, it's yeah, a good day. Yeah.